Hey, my name is Phil with risewithai.com. In today's video, we're going to be looking at an AI copywriting tool called Hypotenuse AI. And in this Hypotenuse AI review, I wanna show you exactly what this tool is, how it actually works, and by the end of this video, you should know if it's right for you. Now, if you are thinking about getting started, I have also got a special link, which is going to give you 50 bonus credits, which is substantially more than you actually get if you decide to give it a trial. So make sure you use the link in the description to claim those bonus free credits. Okay, so first of all, what is Hypotenuse AI? It is a AI copywriting tool, which is quite new to the industry. And to be honest, it seems to be one of the new softwares that is competing with the big copywriting tools that are currently out there that are massively priced. And interestingly, they offer the same amount of features that the big players also use. For example, if we go to products, you'll see that image generation using AI is one of the new features that pretty much all the big players are talking about. And sure enough, Hypotenuse AI has also included it, even though it is significantly cheaper. So there's something to keep in mind. Hypotenuse is going to be one of the probably biggest contestants for platforms like Jasper in the near future. So if you are watching this video right now then you're probably going to get it at its lowest price as i imagine as the company grows it's also going to grow so let's first of all get stuck into the features as you can see once again we have got image generation content detective which researches factual content for articles this is a pretty interesting feature instead of just finding uh, information on the internet and adding it to a post it'll actually verify if it's factual versus if it's just some made up uh, content which is pretty interesting we've also got here bulk generation so if you wanted to create tons of content this is going to be a really good feature in terms of seo we can create blog articles product descriptions headlines and slogans for social media and paid ads we have captions different types of google ads and facebook ads as well and then finally if you are doing different types of brainstorming practices. You can also have things like rewriting using AI. So instead of having to uh, go ahead and either create a new article, you can create a similar article using the rewriter feature, or it can also just give you some ideas if you wanna repurpose your content. Plus you can also summarize your text in seconds. So it's safe to say this tool is feature rich. It's got more than enough to get started with and more than enough to help grow your business. Very powerful AI indeed. So let's quickly look at the pricing. I know a lot of people are interested in the pricing so let's go have a look so if we come down here on the starter plan you can get it for 24 dollars per month if you want to pay uh, annually so that's 24 dollars a month however if you want to pay monthly it is 29 dollars however the good thing is you get 100 credits which is roughly worth about two and a half oh sorry 25 thousand words and if you compare this to a platform like jarvis or jasper i should say it is actually significantly cheaper. It's less than half, so it's a pretty powerful thing. You also get to create different types of workflows for articles. You can create 200 watermark free images. You can also create pro uh, bulk product descriptions. You can do it in 25 different languages. You get email support and you also get one seat. Now there is an increased plan called the growth plan. And this plan just basically gives you more uh, words per month that you can use. You also get unlimited watermark free AI images. Plus you get to have 25 plagiarism checks on your article. Now this is a really big one if you are creating different types of articles for your blog website for example and you're trying to rank for SEO it's extremely important that you have a premium plagiarism tool just so you know that the content that is taken from the internet is plagiarism free once again if you are just adding the content without checking there is a good chance your content may actually get flagged which is going to lower your website rankings all around so this is really powerful if you don't want to pay for an external plagiarism check it like grammarly which is quite expensive so 59 dollars a month it's extremely well priced um, for anyone that's interested in ai copywriting if you come down further as well i'm not going to go deep into it but you can also see what is included on both plans it's going to break it down step by step so that's all there if you want it so let's go ahead i'm going to log into my dashboard and show you hypotenuse so here it is here i've just opened a brand new account as you can see it's on a seven day trial once again if you want to get the trial plus the bonus credits make sure you use the link in the description and if you want to share it with your friends too you can actually also add an additional 50 free credits when you share the tool 
So let's have a look at this platform. On the left here, we have a very small menu bar. First, we've got home, product descriptions, blog posts, image generation, and marketing copy. And if you come across to the middle here on the home page, you'll notice it's the same actual options, but it's slightly ordered differently. So it's pretty interesting how they've done that. Marketing copy is the last one, yet they've put it third here. So let's go have a quick look at what we can generate. So click on product descriptions. Now this is aimed at e-commerce types of platforms. So if you're not in the e-commerce industry, you can actually skip this. But what it's going to do is give you the option to create a catalog, which allows you to have multiple different types of content or products, I should say, inside of one place. So if I typed in here running shoes, for example, clicked on create, the first time you come inside as well, you will have a thorough tutorial, so don't freak out. But what you can do is import a product, you can click add a single product, and then what you can do is upload an image and add in a product title. So what I'm gonna do is just upload an image I have got from the internet. And you can do that by clicking upload image and simply just dragging in your image and then you can give it a product title. So I'm just going to call this um, men's, I'll just call it select uh, fitness running shoe, okay? brand can be select fitness this is just hypothetical this is actually a, a real shoe in a different company but product features what i'll call it is just 100 um, percent uh, silicon lightweight right and um perfect for summer right i might even put some titles in there perfect for summer okay so what I'm gonna do is click, right, click on generate one credit. So it is basically going to generate this text based around the shoe with one credit usage. You can also have in some SEO keywords if you click on advanced options, but I'm just gonna go ahead, click on generate, and let's see what it actually comes up with. Okay, so that has now been done. As you can see, we have two types of marketing campaigns. The first one is titled Fresh, and this says these running shoes are perfect for summer, made with 100% silicon. These lightweight running shoes are perfect for your summer workouts. They're durable and provide great traction, making them ideal for any fitness enthusiast. With a sleek and stylish design, these running shoes are sure to make you stand out from the crowd. So that's a pretty cool little paragraph about these shoes. The next one is a creative, right? So need a pair of shoes for your morning run? Check out our men's select fitness running shoes made with 100% silicon. It's lightweight and perfect for summer. You'll love the way it feels as you hit the pavement. So you can see this is actually really accurate to what a running shoe should be. It's talking about running on the pavement. It's also talking about how you can be a fitness enthusiast, everything like that. So it's extremely relative with the types of content that it comes with. Now what you can do is go ahead and regenerate if you don't like these two types of copy. You can also downvote to let the AI know that you're not interested in this type of copy. There are so many different things. For the sake of this tutorial though, this review, I'm just gonna go ahead and choose the fresh version and I'm gonna go and click mark as done. Now you can see product status updated. And if you come to the done tab, this is going to be where your new copy has been added. So you can go ahead, take your image and post it on social media with this particular type of caption, or you can add it to your website as the product description. So it's really cool. So let's go back home. That is product descriptions. It's super easy to do, right? It takes just a few seconds and that is done. Obviously keep going through it until you find the perfect description for your product. Now the next one is blog posts. So this is write an engaging blog with the help of our AI. Now writing blog posts with AI has been a really popular thing recently. So I'll quickly run through how to actually use this tool. So describe your topic. I'm gonna put inside of here the main or the 10 main benefits of choosing the right running shoe. So you can see it's quite specific um, inside of here. So what I can do is type in here the main primary keywords. So I'll put main benefits of running shoes, okay? And tone, you can choose between either authoritative, conversational, enthusiastic, humorous, singlish, which is a really interesting one. I think that's based on single people. And then you can describe your own one using their AI. You can actually reprogram it to how you want it to sound, but I'm just gonna call it conversational, keeps it nice and generic, right? Now I'm gonna go ahead, click on generate titles, and this is going to be the first part of this tool. So let's see how long this actually takes to create. So you can see we have, it takes less than what, 
five, 10 seconds, and we've already got six different headlines. So let's have a quick look on what we've got. The main benefits of running shoes and why you should invest. That's actually a good one. It's preparing people to um, sort of think that they're going to purchase a shoe. How the right running shoe can benefit your performance. That's even better. It's telling them the, the benefit that it's going to increase their performance. Runners rejoice. The top 10 benefits of having the right running shoe. Uh, not, not a big fan of that one. Choose your running shoe wisely. Uh, the top 10 benefits. Not so much that one either. From better performance to fewer injuries, the top 10 benefits of a good running shoe. Mm, it's okay. Can't seem to stick your New Year's resolution. Yeah, I don't like that one either. So I think I might actually choose um, this one. I'm pretty, I'm pretty stoked with how it looks. So I'm going to go ahead, choose this one, click on Next Create Outline. Okay. And now it's going to actually formulate some different types of outlines you can use inside of your your article, right? It's, it's really powerful. This one's going to take slightly longer. It was about 10 seconds max, but you can see here we have now got our article outline. We've got uh, different types of headings. They're all H2, which is cool, but what are the main benefits of running shoes? How can the right running shoe improve your performance? What features you should look at in a running shoe? How to choose the right running shoe for you? The best running shoes for different types of runners and FAQs about choosing the right running shoe. So this is extremely targeted to the main keyword um, and it's really, really, um, it's really well done. I'm pretty impressed with it. So let's go ahead and choose it. You can always add more down below. You can also research about the topic if you want as well and change the headings and everything like that as well. You can even add in subheadings as too. So it's, there's loads inside of here. So I'm going to click on next. Right, and now it's going to go ahead and generate the article. It's going to say it takes four credits, so that's not too bad. I'm going to go and click generate article. And what I'm going to do is actually just see how long this takes to generate. Now, I've, t I've tested dozens of different tools before, and usually it can take up to about three minutes to generate a good article. You can see right now it's already populating, so this tool is extremely quick, and I believe it's going to take probably less than 30 seconds to create this entire article. So bear with me, we've got just a few seconds to go. And you can see now we're just getting the last little part, which is the um, which is the table of contents. Oh, sorry, that's actually the top 10 main benefits. And so you can see we're done, less than 30 seconds. I believe it was like 26. And we've got a full article ready to go. So if we come into the bottom of this, you can see it's 1,098 words which is really good. Now, majority of the other tools that I've tested will give you usually about 500 to 800 words right off the bat. This has already given me over a thousand, which I personally recommend that you get around a thousand to 1200 for any type of article, just so you have enough information for Google to index you properly. So, We'll quickly skim read through this. I don't need to read you the entire thing. What you can do if you want to read it as well is just press pause on the video or use the link in the description to go to my blog so you can go ahead and check it out yourself. But it says here, so you've decided that you want to start running. That's great. But before you hit the pavement, you need to make sure you have the right gear. One of the most important pieces of equipment is a good pair of running shoes. Now, that is a phenomenal intro paragraph, right? I don't think I've seen such good performance in an AI copywriting tool for a while, so this is very incredible. When it comes to running shoes, there are a lot of options out there. It can be overwhelming trying to decide which pair is right for you, but don't worry, we're here to help. In this post, we'll discuss the 10 main benefits of choosing the right running shoe. If you're ready to take your running game up a notch, make sure to read on. So I'm very impressed with all of this. So let's come down and let's see some of the points just to see if it's actually relative or if it's just junk. So one, you'll be able to run further and faster, true. You'll be less likely to get injured, also very true. You'll have more energy, not too sure, maybe, I, I'm not too sure. Number four, you'll be more comfortable, for sure that's a good one. You'll breathe easier, that's interesting. You'll be less tired than when, you're f when you finish your run. That's really interesting too. Your feet will be feel better afterwards, very true. Your posture will improve, that's also true. You'll be less likely to get blisters or calluses, very true. And you'll look stylish running on your new shoes. So I'd say all of these are really accurate considering majority of them make sense. The other ones probably are true as well as it's researched all of the different uh, competitors on the internet and taken the best information. And keep coming down, you can see there's plenty of content inside of here. So I'm not going to waste your time reading it, but just know that it's all there. And once you're finished, 
you can go ahead and export this to a docx file and you can also go to the plagiarism checker so which i'll quickly do just to give you an idea of the type of content it's created so six percent similarity detected so that is insane considering i usually pass anything that's uh, under 20 percent this is only six and a lot of the times it's like three words put in a row that they go and plagiarize so it's it's not actually something that google cares about don't quote me on it but i've actually heard google doesn't take anything less than 30 percent plagiarized as a, a red flag so this is well below that standard very impressed so i'm going to go ahead and download it and boom instantly you have now got that doc so very impressed with that so let's come home inside of the home tab once again we have marketing copy this is where you can go and create small types of text for different types of purposes so we have things like rewrite content summarize content instagram captions we've got ads we've got linkedin posts website tags landing page content we've got loads of stuff inside of here right email copy press releases that's actually a good one i don't see press releases much but everything is there that you would need you get the idea of how it works i'll just quickly go on a simple one so let's go to instagram captions just so you can see the process so put in the product name put in the keyword the type of tone and it's going to go ahead and generate that for you you have more options as well things like target audience and brand so if you want to include those those are there as well now i'm not going to waste your time too much we will quickly look at the image generation tab though just to see how this performs so describe your desired image. This is where you can get really creative. So what I might put inside of here is a photograph of an elephant smoking a cigar. And I might put in here higher quality. Actually, I might change that, uh, put a comma there. So a photo of an elephant smoking a cigar, high quality, 8K, and I'll put steampunk. It seems to be the common theme here. And what I would do is choose a type I want to do a digital art illustration. I might actually do an artwork. That sounds pretty interesting. Okay, and we've got aesthetic. So I want steampunk. Okay, come down. Mood and lighting. I want it to be, mm, I think I'm gonna go with dark. Oh, actually I'll go cinematic lighting. Okay, so that sounds pretty cool. Oh, you can have up to three, that's pretty cool. So I'll go dramatic backlighting and also maybe um, dark, okay an artistic style i'll use the unreal engine and i'll also use anime and um i think that'll do so you've got a few different aspect ratios if you want a square landscape or portrait i'm going to go ahead and choose a portrait because i believe you know phones are well actually the highest resolution is square so i might just stick with square i could probably crop it later and let's go ahead click on generate now this is going to be really interesting all of these different image ai generation tools create very different types of content now it says it's going to be two minutes so i'm not going to waste your time well actually it's done in 15 seconds that is insane that's the fastest thing i've seen so let's have a look what we got we've got an elephant here um it's the steampunk type site so i don't know where the cigar is oh you can see there's a little bit of smoke maybe that's it there um, it might be a little bit hard to see. So that's pretty interesting. This one, it's pretty cool images of the elephant. I was choosing a pretty random type of scenario, but um, it looks cool regardless. Uh, it's not something I'd probably use, but um, pretty cool how they've created it. And then once you want it, you can go ahead and download it as well. So that's it guys. Of course, if you want to use uh, them without the HiPod and use watermark, click remove watermark and it's going to take some credits. Um, but that is basically the platform. There's nothing really else I've not shown you yet, but that is Hypota News, guys. Once again, if you want to get started with Hypota News, I have that link in the description. You can get 50 free credits to use inside of the platform on a free trial. And just keep in mind, you, when you get started without the link, it's going to only give you 15, so you might as well get the entire 50. But apart from that, thanks for stopping by, checking out my channel. Make sure you hit the subscribe link, and I look forward to seeing you on the next video.